Welcome to how to start and scale a Shopify drop shipping store quickly, okay? Now I'm gonna run you through a number of things in this course. This is actually the second version of this course that just launched after obviously I'm creating this introduction video after I'm launching the course right here to welcome you and kind of give you a brief overview of exactly what you're gonna learn in here as well as you know, kind of the order in which you're gonna learn it in case for whatever reason you wanna skip around and you're only interested in certain specific sections or topics, okay? That said, if you're a beginner or you're intermediate, right, and you're not super advanced and you don't know all, a lot of this stuff already, I'd recommend that you watch it in order. In the very first section, I'm gonna run you through, you know, the entire, you know, setting up your Shopify store, kind of picking your niche and all that good stuff, and then we'll jump into more of the advanced stuff after that. So I'll give you a brief overview of the course here in a second and what you're gonna learn. But ultimately, this is the second version of this course, and I'm very proud to launch this second version. I put a lot of work into launching this second version and a lot more content value into this course. As you can see from looking at it, depending on how much I add additionally, it's either gonna be 22 or 23 hours plus long, right? So the first version of this course was only an hour and a half, I think, to two hours long. So I've added over 20 hours of content tutorials, strategies to get more, you know, potential paying customers and more traffic to your store and a number of other drop shipping techniques, okay? So there's a lot of value in here. Do not go through it super, super fast because it can be overwhelming. There's a lot of tips in here. What I would say is go through section by section, master it, then move on to the uh, to the next section and kind of use it as like each time you're kind of getting like another tool in your metaphorical tool belt, right? There's a lot of content in here. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to reach out. I would love to answer them for you, but let me give you a brief overview of exactly what you're gonna learn in this course and in what order. So like I said, in the next section, we're gonna cover the first version of this course, which was actually Shopify Dropship Mastery. So obviously in the second version, you're getting a number of other things, but the first version will, uh, but the first section after this introduction will be the first version of this course. So you get all the good beginner and intermediate stuff so that you can still master that stuff before we move on to the more advanced stuff, okay? Then I added a number of other sections onto the course afterwards in the second version of this course, okay? And so in how to start and scale a Shopify dropshipping store quickly, you're also gonna get access to everything that I know about running Facebook ads. So that section is very long as well. You're literally gonna get the beginner stuff because obviously if you can run Facebook ads to your dropshipping store more effectively and more profitably, you'll make more money and you'll scale it up that much faster, right? So I've been running ads for about five years now. I know what I'm talking about. Obviously in that section, you will see exactly what I'm saying, right? There's literally all sorts of tips from literally beginner to signing up for your, your uh, Facebook ads account to actually running ads and how you should structure your ads all the way up to like more advanced stuff like playing to the, the biases of the Facebook algorithm and kind of appeasing them to your advantage to get more profitable ads, right? So you will learn everything that I've accumulated in the past five years of running my own online business through Facebook advertising, right? In the next section, we'll talk about running retargeting ads by collecting people on your pixel on your website obviously on your specific listings. So the way that that's obviously relevant, kind of like in a short introduction here, because obviously in that entire section, you'll get what it is, how to set it up, why it's relevant, how to actually master the retargeting ad portion of that. But basically what a retargeting ad is, it's, is, is it basically captures people on your website or on your specific listing that you clearly know have shown a, an interest in that product or in that specific brand or whatever, right? You know that these are hot potential buyers. It's a warm audience. And so by running retargeting ads to these people, you are gonna be able to scale up that much faster. So I highly recommend that obviously you check that out. It's gonna be super relevant to running a Shopify store profitably because these, this is your low hanging fruit, right? These are the people that you know are interested. Then we're gonna move on to some of the sales tips. So in the next section, we'll cover sales tips specifically that kind of play to understanding the psychology of the current customer shopping online. Because obviously, if you can understand the psychology of a customer, well then you can craft listings and we'll cover that in the very next section as well, which will be copywriting tips, which is basically selling with your words. So sales tips, then copywriting tips, very, very similar, very, very relevant to creating e-commerce listings of any kind, right? Because like I was saying, ultimately, 
After mastering those two sections, if you can understand the psychology of a customer and how visitors are kind of perceiving your products and your website, you can create better listings and sell more of the people that visit your, your uh, specific listings as well, right? So you can turn more of the visitors of your site into actual paying customers and increase your conversion rate with copywriting and sales techniques to the current customer shopping online, okay? Then in the next section, we'll cover some Instagram growth tips so that obviously you can build a brand along with your Shopify store and also use places like Instagram to leverage traffic and siphon off traffic to your store for free, right? So like I said, we're gonna cover the Facebook ads, the retargeting ads so that you can pay for traffic profitably obviously, but also you should be building a brand on places like Instagram or Facebook as well, and then using those specific places to get yourself free traffic that you don't have to pay for from people that obviously engage with your, your brand on those places, right? So I'll cover a number of Instagram tips that are gonna help you grow your Instagram page, scale your store, and get more notoriety for your brand. Then we'll move on to everything email lists, right? Because you should also, whether you're doing it specifically on your Shopify store or off of another specific landing page software, and I will run you through a landing page software here, how to set it up, how to build emails. We're gonna cover a number of different specific aspects of building an email list and collecting people on that to remarket to past customers and interested parties in the future, right? Ultimately, if you can stay in front of your customer with email marketing and you can collect them on a specific landing page, then you're gonna be able to re like resell current customers that you know have already engaged and bought products from you as well as generate interested people that visit your landing page or visit your store but might not have purchased anything yet into paying customers as well okay so a lot of great info in this course already in those specific sections that kind of go hand in hand and back to back we're gonna cover building email lists with landing pages, so the strategy behind it and how to set it up. Then I'll teach you my best landing page hacks to increase your conversion rate. So basically, one of the easiest ways to get more paying customers and get more people on your email list is like, most people that have traffic coming to their to their landing pages have a very, very low conversion rate for specific reasons, right? And so if you can address these specific things, and I will teach you all of that in the landing page hacks section, then you can increase your conversion rate so that maybe instead of like three out of every 10 people opting into your list that come to your page, you're then getting five or six or seven, right? Because obviously that's gonna double, if not more, the amount of emails that you have on your email list, which ultimately you can then remarket to more effectively because you have more potential, you know, interest customers in your customer pool, right? It makes sense. So landing page optimization, landing page hacks is super crucial for building an email list and remarketing to past customers to make more sales, as well as other potential interested people that you clearly know are interested in your brand, your niche, and the products that you're selling. Then we'll cover email marketing techniques to actually scale it up, because once you build the email list, you need to know how to master email marketing to actually convert those emails into paying customers. So we'll cover that in the next section. And then finally, in the next section, before we move on into the other drop shipping techniques that I've added as bonuses here in this course, we're gonna cover in the next section specifically alternative ways to get traffic to your website. So if you're not using like Instagram or social media, if you're not using advertising, these are other more innovative ways that you don't need to spend money, but you can still get traffic to your website if you're just starting out or maybe you don't have any money to spend on ads in the beginning. It's totally fine. I'll teach you some innovative ways to get traffic to your website so you can make sales for free. Okay. Then we're gonna move on into some of the other uh, drop shipping business models. So I didn't have any of these obviously in the first version, it was just Shopify. And the majority of this course is geared around like starting your Shopify store, scaling it up, running advertising to it, setting up an email list so you can remarket to it, using social media to build a brand and siphon traffic. But at the same time, you can also be leveraging these other third-party websites to make more sales. And so I'm gonna run you through a number of other drop shipping techniques in this course, right? Hence why this course is over 22 hours long or 23, depending on when you're watching, right? So the first way we're gonna talk about is eBay drop shipping. So you can leverage eBay's, uh, you know, millions and millions and millions of traffic customers that are already on the actual site to make more sales for free, okay? So eBay drop shipping is a number of way, uh, is a great way to do this. I'm gonna teach you a number of ways outside of eBay drop shipping, but that's definitely where I recommend that you start. Then I'll take you through a more innovative way to drop ship as well by drop shipping on coupon websites 
with a very, very similar kind of technique, but it's a little bit more innovative. That'll be the next section, and obviously I'll outline exactly what that is and how to go through it and how to set your, your dropshipping site up and everything in that section. Then we'll talk about using Poshmark, which do not sleep on Poshmark. Poshmark, in my opinion, is one of the most underrated e-commerce platforms now that's third party that you can actually dropship on effectively, okay? So in the next section, I'll run you through how to dropship on Poshmark, right? So Poshmark's kind of like a baby eBay, in my opinion. It's really, really kind of starting to compete. Like, in my opinion, Amazon's up here, eBay's like right here, like on its coattails, right? And then Poshmark's like right here below eBay. So it's catching up to both of them. And it's a really, 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 um, you know, solid opportunity for a lot of you. And you will get sales from this platform, I promise you. So another way that you can drop ships on Poshmark as well, we'll cover that in that section. And then we'll move on to drop shipping and leveraging Amazon to drop ship, obviously. Now, obviously I think Amazon is the best platform outside of Shopify to drop ship on. That said, I put it at the end because that specific section right there is one of the first kind of courses that I ever created. I just kind of added it on as a bonus because the strategies, the, the techniques in that section are super, super relevant, and super effective, but the production quality isn't as good as I would expect because I created that course. Obviously, I've made adjustments to it specifically for, you know, and added it to this course. But the majority of the lectures in there, the strategies, the techniques in there are still applicable and very, very relevant and will help you make more money drop shipping with Amazon. But that said, the production quality isn't necessarily up to par with what I would expect. And so that's why I put it at the end of the course, okay? And then we're gonna just run through specifically how to keep more of the money that you make by paying less in taxes. Because the majority of this course focuses on the first way that you can increase your income, right? make more sales, increase your income. But another not so understood way is pay less in taxes, right? So if you pay less in taxes, you will net more profit at the end of the year or the end of the, the quarter, however you decide to do it. And so in the next section, we'll cover specific tax recommendations. I'm not a CPA, I'm not an accountant, right? I'm not a professional, but I, I have been running my own online business for the past five years, right? So I know a little something, something anecdotally, and I will lend you some of my own anecdotal insight for my own personal specific situation that I really think will help you. So that's kind of the general overview of exactly what you'll learn here and how to start and scale a Shopify dropshipping course, uh, store quickly, excuse me. So without further ado, I wanted to welcome you. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to reach out. I'd love to answer them for you, but let's hop into the course. There's a lot of great information to be learned.